it's Laura Robson, continuing my journey to discover the city I was born in, beautiful Melbourne. For many years, it was generally accepted that the place we now call Australia was discovered by famous British explorer, Captain James Cook, back in 1770. This house behind me, which was built by his parents back in Yorkshire in the UK, was brought out to Melbourne by ship, brick by brick, and reassembled here in the Fitzroy Gardens in central Melbourne. And if that wasn't weird enough, he never even lived here. As for him discovering Australia, well, that's not entirely true either. Let's go find out some more. Hey Rob, I'm Laura, great to meet you. Well, firstly, I'd like to say welcome to the Kuruheris Trust, or as we say, Wuminjika. So today we're gonna do one of our tours, and there's two parts of that. So we'll actually start here at the Kuruheris Trust. We'll also go upstairs and have a look through our collections, and then we'll actually take a walk outside along the river and explore where you can engage with Aboriginal culture in Melbourne today. Let's go check out upstairs. All good, let's do it. Can I touch it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. So that's an emu caller because we didn't have the didgeridoo. So what would happen is two men go out hunting emu. So one man would be carrying this. He would actually put emu feathers on himself. He would rub emu poo on himself as well. He would go out hunting like this. Now you want to be an emu. If you just pretend I'm covered in emu poo, and then it's realistic. So I want to bring the emu in Full now, commitment. right? Yeah. And so what I'd be doing is then this. Now emus, when now they call, like make a popping noise with their throat. The emu comes over to investigate. <laughs> whack. Straight over the top. Yeah. So this looks very familiar to me. Why is it important to you? This area for 60,000 years has been a meeting place. We had a moment last year where Yvonne Goolagong gave Ash Barty the women's trophy. What sort of significance does that have going forward that two icons of Australian sport are both Aboriginal? Over our history, sport's actually been a real leveller for Aboriginal people in terms of an opportunity to compete on an equal level. Shows that we are moving forward, but there's so much inspiration that you know, those women can provide to all of our children within the Aboriginal communities that there's something you can aspire to. Thank you, Rob, for such an educational day. I feel like I've learned so much. Any opportunity we get to actually share our culture, and that's what we're about, and that's what we want people to understand and learn. Let's get you to the tennis. So if you're ever in Melbourne, please go visit the Koori Heritage Trust. It's unbelievable. I've learned so much, and I hope to keep coming back. Yeah.